This video is kind of sponsored by me. Oh, look at that, it's perfect. Oh. The problem with being an artist So there's so many jobs in the creative industry and there's so many to choose. You have your designers, the you know, your web designers, your you know, your creative designers, your uh, logo designers, but I've done that in the past. I went to university, I studied graphic design. I just don't want to be a sat at a desk all day. Yeah, they get to move around a little bit, like, you know, in the office and things, chat to people. But I've done it in the past. It's not for me. Yeah, being sat at the desk isn't for me. But now I've dropped my keys off to my wife so she can get home later. Uh, I swapped my car for my van. I have to do this every time that we both work at the same time. And then you have your freelance artist. This is probably one of my favorite ones, but first, let's get a Greg's. A bacon and cheese wrap, basically. So yeah, uh, freelance artist. It's uh, not what it's all cracked up to be. Most of the time you spend is in the house, trying to get in clients. And uh, if you do have a, quite a big client base, most of the time you are just sat at your kitchen table uh, doing all the work by yourself. So uh, that wasn't one for me. And then you have the traditional artist. Most of the time is spent finessing their style and making sure that everything's perfect. A lot of time in studios, and just working on your craft. Now, this takes years and years to practice to get to that level, and I don't really have that time for practicing. And then you have the graffiti guys, the vandals, the guys are going out, putting their name up anywhere and everywhere. I understand where they're all coming from, this, but at the end of the day, I can't pay my mortgage with street cred. I have tried, I have rung up the bank and said, look Mush, can I pay my mortgage with some street cred? Because you know, I'm putting up everywhere, I'm all over my town that I live at, I'm all over the city that's nearest me. Can I pay with street cred? Fortunately, you can't. And then you have your graph artists. These guys have some awesome skill. How you guys can do letters is beyond me because I can't draw letters. I can't do the complicated serifs, I can't do the, the extensions, I can't do it all. So I really do take my hat off to these graffiti guys. But the only problem you got with doing graffiti letters is that who is going to commission you? Unless you are the top few that do graffiti letters, you're really not gonna get much work coming through the door because I don't know many people that want T2 or just sugars painted on their buildings. Um, so that's where I struggle to make sense out of a business idea how to do graffiti letters, unless you're one of the top few, like your Smonovas, like your Soffles. These guys get commissioned on a daily, I'm guessing, for people to have their name painted on their buildings. All done with Heno. Uh, that'll be uh, aired out on Thursday night, which uh, I'm excited about. And, uh, it's always nice to have a little bit of a TV appearance. But yeah. Now. Now you've seen me wear some sexy clothes right there. That's my new merch. So if you are interested, use a little word from our sponsor. Me, T2 Sugars. Go check it out.
Do you want a wardrobe that looks like this? Then head over to t2sugars.com. We are doing some hoodies and t-shirt on a limited range made with 100% organic cotton. And for any orders that are over 50 pounds, free shipping. So make sure you get over there and snap yourself up one ASAP. So yeah, if you guys want to show your support and you want to get yourself a cool hoodie like this or t-shirt like this, then make sure you head over to the website. Thank you and back to the video. I hope you get some merch. And then you have your street artists. People like myself. Can't draw letters for love no money, but I can do stuff like that. And what I mean, how I can do stuff like that, is just all tricks and tips. It is just putting a doodle grid up. It is copying off an image. That is how I do the, these types of things. But there's no learning curve with this stuff. It's just look at an image and paint it. Because that's what people want. People want you to just paint an image. But I don't really paint anything that I want to actually paint. Yeah, this is a funky, cool idea. Shrek, Donkey, Fiona. But it isn't something that I want to paint. Uh, and a lot of commissioned artists don't get to paint what they paint unless you are a lucky foo and then yet i am not a lucky foo but i get to learn a lot of this painting techniques by painting different things uh you know i've painted anything and everything at the moment i've painted dragons painted flowers shrek and donkey you know i've painted it all but despite everything that is wrong and hard about street art is something so satisfying about creating something beautiful with a spray can which i just keep coming back to and i can't get enough of i know street art isn't for everybody but i've tried a lot of different jobs in the creative industry and for some reason i just keep coming back to this i've been doing it for 14 years and Every time I'm not painting, I just want to paint. And if I was to give anyone any advice about getting into the creative industry, do, do it if you love it, regardless of the money, regardless of the time, the energy that you have to put into it. If you love it that much, you will want to do it. And then if you want to do it that much and you love it that much, other people will start to love it and enjoy it as much as you are. And that is what I have done throughout the story of me creating and uh, this YouTube channel, this sort of my social media following and everything. It's all from me loving it so much and people jumping on the bandwagon with me and enjoying it as well. Oh, Jesus Christ, let's put some eyes. You are. So yeah, I'm all done with this one. And uh, massive thank you to our sponsor, which is being me. Uh, go over to my website, make sure you uh, grab yourself an awesome t-shirt or hoodie ready for Christmas obviously if I was to give any advice about the creative industry make sure you try them all I have I went to art college I did all of the traditional stuff I went off then to university studied graphic design I have done all aspects of design and art and I landed on my favorite of all street art which I think is pretty awesome what you can do but yeah if you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe and the awesome shots they're coming soon. Peace. Donkey! And then you have... Please make sure you go to my website and get my merch, please.